hello everyone uh, i'm going to show you how can we dry our sample for example a membrane or an, a, a hydrogel to convert it into an aerogel with high surface area and uh, poor volume and pore size is intact using this supercritical reactor which is from quorum technology so it's essentially has we have a cylinder that's called a fishing kind of cylinder because it it, it has a tube inside and it takes from the bottom part the CO2. So we ensure that only liquid CO2 flows through this tube into the reactor. The sample is placed in there. You can see a membrane is placed there. And your sample, as you can see here, it must be dipped in ethanol or any other solvent that can be easily replaced by liquid CO2. Here is the, the, the entrance. So you put the sample in one of these sample holder or in a gas and you place it there and then you close the reactor and then you open the CO2 cylinder so CO2 will flow and flood your sample and your sample must be dipped in liquid CO2. Once you have that you then open uh, this, uh, this outlet on this side you see here the, then the, you open it slightly as I'm doing it now just to show you and doing so the CO2 will remove ethanol or other solvent that was presently in the pores of the sample. Once you have done that for an hour, then you close the system and you allow you 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 turn the temperature regulator so it will uh, allow hot water to flow to, through these tubings into the uh, outside casing of the reactor to to heat it. Once the temperature is above 31 degrees. And once the pressure reaches uh, about 1,100, like uh, around 1,100, the CO2, liquid CO2 inside the reactor will turn into supercritical state. You allow the sample to be soaked in supercritical uh, CO2 for an hour, and then you slowly open this vent. This is kept. And the CO2 from the sample is going to convert into gaseous form, uh, leaving the sample dry inside and the sample is dried in such a way that the pore size is retained it is it doesn't collapse the the the, the pore sizes and you have very lighter material for example this is an aerogel uh, i can't even feel like it's weight it's around 99 percent air and a very light material uh, uh, that, that is how here I have uh, another a membrane that is dried supercritically and if you look into the nano correct nano structure of these material in ACM or uh, TM you see very fine pore size uh, nice fibers without any collapse high surface area and this the aerogel of 10 have very nice physical characteristic for many application thank you